With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is a vertical U-tube of uniform cross section contains water in both the arms. A 10 cm glycerin column, relative density 12, relative density 1.2 is added to one of the limbs. The level difference between the two free surfaces in the two limbs will be. So these are our two, let's say U-tube here. Now of uniform cross section initially containing water. Now here it says we have added here 10 centimeter glycerin column on one side here. So this height is given here as 10 centimeter. Now adding glycerin onto the one side, we can see here the water level increases onto the other side. So we can see here that let's say here this let's say is our glycerin of height given as let's say 10 centimeter so this height here is equal to our 10 centimeter and here we can see this let's say water increases onto the other side so here let's say water increases up to this height so here now we need to find the level of increase of let's say here water between the two free surfaces. So we can see here if this is our height x here increase in the other side this here is our 10. So we can see here the net increase in height above this surface will be equal to 10 plus x. So we can see here this height is our let's say 10. So on the let's say glycerin side we have here as height as 10 and on the water side below let's say this there will be both water surfaces so we can see here according to Pascal's law in a same liquid at same height pressure remains same so this pressure here is suppose P0 and this pressure is also P0 since it is atmospheric so here this is our glycerin and this here is our water so we can see here the relative density is given to be 1.2 so relative density is density of liquid to that of water is given here as 1.2 and we know water density is 1000 kg per cubic meter so this comes as 1200 kg per cubic meter so we have here pressure at these two points as same so P1 will be equal to P2 according to Pascal's law. So we can say here P1 is equal to we have here as P2. Hence P1 here can be written as our P0 plus we can say here as liquid density into we can say here as G into H. H here is our 10 centimeter. So this here is 10 by let's say 100 meter. Now on the right hand side we have here as P0 plus we can say here as rho water into we can say as g into h h here we can see our let's say is 10 plus x so we can see this here is 10 plus x in let's say here centimeter so dividing by 100 this comes in meter so here we can see p naught and p naught cancels out hence this comes as let's say g by 100 also cancels out so rho l into 10 will be equal to our rho w into we have here as 10 plus x. We need to find this value of x that is the difference between the two free surfaces. So we can see here liquid density is our 1000 so liquid density we have here as 1200 into 10 water density we have here as 1000 into 10 plus x so this comes here as 12 is equal to 10 plus x hence value of x comes out to be our 2 centimeter so 2 centimeter means we can say here option number 2 that is 2 centimeter is the correct answer hence 2 is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today